Hey guys, it's Big. I'm here in Portland, Oregon. We're gonna go check out the wet spot. The wet spot is an absolute must-see destination if you're ever in the Portland era. From a tropical fish standpoint, it is an absolute icon. Let's go ahead and see, we'll take a peek. As soon as you walk through the door, you see an absolute diverse selection of dry goods, branches and woods and all sorts of things. That's not what I'm here for. I automatically make a beeline for the fish because the wet spot is known North America wide for its incredibly high quality fish stocks. And they definitely deliver. Let's take a peek. Steve and Marcy own two businesses. They have the business of the Wet Spot, which is their tropical retail store. But they also own the Cichlid Exchange. Steve's had the Cichlid Exchange for many, many years. And what the Cichlid Exchange is actually a wholesale and they ship direct products right across the country. So the fish that are here, any of the fish that come in as imports, go through a long quarantine period where they're checked and uh, they're used for different medications and stuff and any parasites or any sort of issues with the fish before they ever make an appearance down here at the wet spot retail store. So when you're buying fish from the wet spot, you're buying fish that have already gone through all that quarantine period, nice, healthy, tropical fish. As right, so you can see the selection already, even though we've only gone down one aisle, the selection is incredible. One of the store mascots, Rudy, or sorry, Ruby. Most of the fish in this aisle tend to be mostly Tanganyikan cichlids, both farm raised and wild caught. I love this end cap. It's got basically four corner shaped tanks and they've created four very different biotopes or nature inspired aquariums. It's got some beautiful Tanganyikans in it. The one above it, as you saw, was a nice little Asian stream inspired with different saprinids and barbs. This one's got some different types of rainbows and different types of plantings. And the one above is uh, Amazonian based with the little Amazon puffers and we got nice little farloellas and some different dwarf cichlids and all stuff from South America. Very cool. To have one more aisle to go on this section of the store. And I know you haven't seen any species, any cichlids individually yet, but I will go down the rows later and kind of highlight some of the fish. There's some we're gonna have to highlight right away already, mostly because it's near and dear to me, is that one little tetra that's coming out from behind the plant there. That is Pseudochelsius kyberzi, the kyberzi or measles tetra, which I did a video and I'll put a link to it up in the corner. It is an amazing kerosene. Absolutely love that fish. It's a little more aggressive than most people are ready to handle, but uh, in, a, in, a, in a nice black, uh, slightly tannin and stained water, uh, some plant life, these things are absolutely outstanding fish. Let's continue on with our look.
This one's got predominantly a lot of New World species and stuff, both, uh, both Central and South American in origin. I'm seeing a lot of very odd species that I would not normally expect to see in a pet store. One of the tanks that just passed had a bussing eye, which is a Central American cichlid from Costa Rica. That's fairly obscure. There's some really, really cool, I believe those are strawberry uh, leperinus. I might be wrong, but those leperinus are just really, really sharp. Yeah, and they call them strawberry leperinus, and they're only 25 bucks. Ooh, the temptation to take something like that back home to Canada. Ooh, it's so great. <laughs> At the back, they have kind of a working station, a bagging station. Everything, you see how nice and clean everything is, nice and organized. A nice way of displaying some backgrounds to fit your aquariums and stuff. Easy for the staff to work with. And on the back wall of the, the, the section of the store, they have some beautiful display tanks again. The first one up here on the top right. It's a beautiful Lake Tanganyika-inspired tank, and you know when you see that uh, that elephant stone in there, it just it just looks ex very very similar. You feel like you're transported into Lake Tanganyika, and all the trophies and stuff in there. This is probably about a 90-gallon tank or 110, somewhere along that lines. Very cool. And then we've got kind of an Asian Suprinted stream tank. So it's probably got, uh, you can see the flow in there. It's a lot higher than it would be otherwise. And a lot of hill stream loaches and some sort of nandids or, or baddest types. There's a one up in the kind of top center there. And different types of Suprinids and stuff, all living in that forest stream, along with some Asian plants like the, the Java fern, the Microsoriums, and some of the different crypts. A beautiful South American tank. There's that beautiful strawberry leperinus, one right there. What a great, great fish. They are awesome looking. Love them. That's definitely going to be a highlight in the big 12-foot uh, monster tank we're going to be building. Definitely going to want something like that in there. There's another unique headstander right there. I'm not even familiar with which one this is, but it is awesome. I don't even know which one that is. Just in looking at the list of what they have available online uh, is absolutely incredible. The diversity alone, like I kind of looked at their list thinking, oh, if I have the opportunity to take some fish back, which is very, very challenging to do uh, for me, for Canada. Uh, but uh, I looked at the list and they had like three or four fish, like only in, in 10 minutes that I found looking at the list that were fish that I've been wanting for a while. So I'm like, the temptation is definitely going to be high. Being a true specialty store, the accoutrements they have for setting up any sort of tank you want to set up, you know, be it nature inspired, be it woods, driftwoods, different types of tanks, low iron type tanks, the wet spot can handle it all. They've got absolutely everything you can imagine to set up your dream aquarium. Look at these beautiful scaping tanks, these shallow scaping tanks. Everything clean, organized. Look at that piece of driftwood up there. That is awesome. It's one of their beta bars. Some beautiful healthy betas. And all the products that you're gonna need. Now let's go on to the other side. And you guys thought that was enough. We're on the other side now and it's bigger than the first side. One other thing of note that you may not, oh, you may overlook, is if you look to the walls on the right hand side, you see all these plaques mounted absolutely everywhere along the walls. Those are all awards that they've won for more than likely showing fish at different events. I see lots of first place, second place. There's a lot of awards, the bulk of them being first place. A lot of uh, unique carvings and fish memorabilia, things that he's probably back brought from, most of it from Africa, from some of his different travels, either Africa or Central America. Really, really cool. They have really, really good soft water here in Portland, exceptionally soft, same as in like Vancouver area and stuff. The water comes off the mountain and has almost zero hardness. So you'll notice that there's a huge focus in regards to inspired, nature-inspired planted aquariums. 
All the species originating from soft waters from all over the world just seem to thrive here. So the diversity of saprinids and kerosins and cichlids from all these soft waters, you know, African butterfly fish, anything that lives in the soft water here doesn't really require much buffering to the water chemistry whatsoever and they tend to thrive in it. Oh, there's so many fish here I want to take home. I'm not joking, I'm not talking one or two. There's, there's lots of fish here that I want to take home. Another Asian saprinid tank with a bit more current. Some gorgeous rose line sharks. I see some panda gara. I got some melon barbs, a true favorite of mine. Look at the, look at the health of those gold barbs. They are just awesome. What a truly beautiful nature tank. Of course, we have to go and take a peek at all the plants. Look at the absolute volume of plants. I guess the second tank that has that space, I guess maybe doesn't say the volume, but they get plant shipments almost every single week. So they got bunched plants, potted plants. These are like mother plants. So you get a really established big, large clump right away. Several more tanks of plants. They also do a lot of uh, tissue culture. So climate controlled tissue culture plants from several different, several different options. guys I couldn't help myself I had to buy some fish I broke my own rule I'm traveling now I'm gonna be going through an airport with fish again and I sure hope it makes it home I'm not getting the rarest fish but I'm at the wet spot this is this is this is like Mecca this is like for, for people for fish this is the place you want to be the quality of the fish here is absolutely outstanding so yes I did break down I bought the entire tank that's only six, so it's not that bad. They're not overly large. What do you guys think it is? You're gonna have to wait till towards the end of the video before you're gonna find out what fish Biggs came home with. I'm not even ready at home for them. And this is an exceptionally delicate fish that I probably should not be bringing home unless I'm set up for it. But, you know, I'm pretty safe. I can, I can set up stuff pretty quick. I always have RO, rod and water ready, good to go. So I'm really stoked. You guys maybe stop here, go in the comments. And out of all the stuff we've talked about and all the stuff you've seen, maybe let me know which fish you think I'm bringing home. I don't think you'll get it. I don't think you have a chance. Maybe there's a hint. Don't know. Everything you could possibly need to run a beautiful, healthy home aquarium. Be it like shrimps or plants, fish, soft water fish, hard water fish. They've got absolutely everything you need here at the wet spot. They can make every single one of your wet dreams come true. I need to say this place was an absolute trip. I'm so glad I was able to stop by and to go down with some fish. Absolutely, if you're ever in the Portland area, I, I can't see why you wouldn't want to make a stop here. It's incredible. So you're wondering what fish I took home? Well, there's Jebriel and he's holding up the bag of fish. Yes.
I found the true chocolate Grammys at the wet spot in Portland, Oregon for $6.99. <laughs> they say right on the tank, rare fish. Well, they're not exceptionally rare. They're just a very, very delicate species to keep. And there they are courting and breeding right in the tank. Wild caught and through quarantine. Check one off my bucket list. I'm super stoked. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.